Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is currently 3.07 p.m. and I just took Boo Radley outside and I was like, can I film outside? Is it too cold outside? It's too cold outside. It's a little bit windy today. Let's see what the temperature is. It is currently, the weather channel is pulling up. It's currently 35 degrees outside and um, too cold to sit outside and vlog. So I was like, okay, should I vlog in the bedroom? Little Boo Radley is upstairs sleeping in the bedroom. Uh, should I vlog at the computer or should I vlog in the chair over here? Or should I pick some random place to vlog? <laughs> but somebody had um, commented on my vlog not too long ago and they said, I kind of miss you sitting in the chair uh, behind all the, the plants and all that kind of stuff. The plants, there's one plant over here. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just sit in the chair today and vlog. So, how are you guys doing? Took the day off yesterday, which was really, really nice. Um, had a good day, went to brunch with Alex. So, yesterday we had the book club, and then today my plan was to get up and film videos on all of my channels. The, the neighbor dog outside is barking. That, um, those two things have not gone necessarily as planned. So, let me tell you about the book club, first of all. So, I was like having a hard time. We streamed the book club on You Now, and I was having a hard time um, with You Now yesterday. It just was like, I would like get on there, and then like it wouldn't show that I was live. And I was kind of like, as I was doing it, I was thinking to myself, I kind of remember that I had this problem last time when we did the book club. And the last time that we did the book club was like in August or September, so I couldn't really remember that well. And I was like, something about this feels familiar to me. <laughs> like, I feel like something like this happened the last time. So then I um, went live and, every, you know, Mel and other people were coming in there and stuff. And everybody was telling me that I was like really, really choppy. And so I logged off, logged back on, went live again, and people were telling me that I was choppy again. And so I was like, okay, then I remembered. I was like, this is what happened last time, and we had to end the live stream early. This time we were like only like five minutes in, and it was so bad, and I was like lagging and like choppy, and I, and I what reminded me of it was I could remember like, cause you know, I guessed Mel like right at the beginning, cause you know, we host it together, and, um, I would ask something, like I would say like, can you guys hear me? And it would be like this. I would say, can you guys hear me? I can hear you, but you're really choppy and you're really slow. And so there was like a huge like, you know, uh, like silence in between like when I would ask Mel and when she would respond to me. And so it was like, this is exactly what happened last time. And then we ended up having to end it early because it was so bad. So there weren't a lot of people that were in the book club anyway. So we just like, I texted Mel and I said, can you, cause nobody could even hear me on it. And so I texted her and I said, can you just like tell everybody, you know, that we're gonna have to reschedule it for February and we're gonna have to figure out, we're gonna have to figure out a different streaming platform. So got off the live stream yesterday, which I was really, really excited about doing. Um, and so was Mel. We're really excited about doing cause we haven't done it since like August or September or something. And it was like, this business meeting and we were going to talk about the books that we were going to read uh for this year and like ask people like what books they wanted to read and like the themes and things like that and it was just going to be kind of like a collective like business meeting and then also talk about the last two books that we had read a little bit and talk about the next book that we're going to read which is the mandy matney book um about the murder murder so if you're interested in reading that with us go over to um the facebook group it's listed below for True Crime Book Club, all you have to do is join it and then you can read along with us. But anyway, so got off the live stream and um, called Mel and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do because here's the deal. If I do the live stream like on YouTube, there's ways to like obviously like guest people, right? But one of the things that we've liked about you now is that it keeps the group very, very small and you can like pull people over and guest and whatever. Every time like I live stream like on YouTube, there's a bunch of people that are there that aren't really there for the book club necessarily. And so, which is nice, you know, but they'll be like, oh, I'm just here to say hi or beast or whatever, you know? And so it takes away kind of for the conversation of the book club. I mean, it's nice, but it takes away from all that. So, cause we talked about like the possibility of streaming like on my booktube channel or something, right? And then, um, and then also we talked about like going on Twitch and whatever. So 
Finally, Mel threw out, and I hadn't even thought of this. She's like, well, what if we do, like, a Facebook Live on the Facebook page for True Crime Book Club? I'm not very technological. I don't know about stuff like that. The other thing was, yesterday, I was having, like, we were having, like, major Wi-Fi problems and stuff. This whole last week has been kind of like a crap show in our neighborhood. I don't know if the Wi-Fi problems have anything to do with this, but they're doing work, like, over on that. Like, you know where I, I show where I walk past the pool and the, whatever, that that side of the neighborhood over there? They're doing something, but, like, they broke water mains twice, <clears throat> so they had to come out there and fix the water mains twice this week. The gas line has been broken, and it, two of the things haven't affected us, but it's like every day there's been something that has been going on because they're doing like construction over there. And so they keep on like whatever, but like it's like every day we wake up to like emails saying like the water mains broke, the water's like turned off or whatever. Like that was like two days last week. And then one day it was like the gas line, one day it was this and whatever. Other people are saying they're having problems with stuff. So I don't know if that's kind of like, we, it, the, the Wi-Fi has been choppy. It keeps on going in and out, in and out, whatever. Like it'll go out and then it'll come right back on or it'll go out and then it'll be out for a while. And so it's real interesting. Like, I don't know what's going on with it. <clears throat> which is probably a good thing that I took yesterday off because it would have taken me hours to like upload videos because I can do like a hotspot on my phone and stuff. But the problem is I upload because I upload so many videos, I upload them on like my computer, you know, my phone, things like that. When you do like a hotspot, it's harder to upload. It's slower to upload on multiple. It'll still work, but it literally takes like hours versus minutes to upload it. If you're doing it on multiple sources. If I'm just doing it on one thing, it's totally fine. Like, if I was just doing it on my phone. But with longer videos, like, if my drama videos are, like, close to an hour. My vlog is, like, close to an hour. Things like that. Those, even on my phone, take two to three hours. Which means I'd have to film a video, wait two to three hours for it to upload. Upload another video. I mean, it would be, like, a, it'd be like nine or ten hours of uploading videos. So, probably a good thing that I took yesterday off. So the Wi-Fi is working, but it's just like super, super slow. I don't know what's going on with it. And so, um, so yeah, so anyway, so yesterday Mel and I, we talked right after we got off the live stream and she was like, I think that, you know, we could do the, the, um, Facebook live thing and whatever. And I guess her and like Nikki tried it and it totally works and you can guess people and whatever. So from now on, I think we're going to do, which this actually works a lot better um, we're going to do the live streams for a true crime book club straight from, um, straight from the book club Facebook group, which will be a lot easier. Plus I think more people will come to it cause it'll be right from there. Um, so we're going to have to kind of play around with it and try to figure out, I know nothing about Facebook lives or how to do any of that kind of stuff, but Mel's a hundred times more technological than I am. So I told her, I said, we can like, you can figure this stuff out and you can kind of like tell me what to do and all this kind of stuff. The other thing is like when we did it on you now, I always had to like start it and then guest Mel. This will give us both like access. So like, you know, she can do a, a book club if I can and vice versa and whatever. So, but going forward, we plan to both be there. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. Um, I think that it will be much better coming straight from the Facebook group. I think it'll make more sense to people. They can just get on the Facebook and they can just watch it if they want to or whatever. So that was yesterday. And then what else did we do yesterday? We went to brunch yesterday. And um, so this is like reminds me of, I actually didn't do as bad yesterday as I thought I would. So today is the beginning of my health, uh, my health journey, my weight loss journey and trying to eat healthier and be healthier and all that kind of stuff. And I knew that yesterday. What I was going to say was it's kind of like an alcoholic on their last day. Like I can remember all the times I tried to quit drinking before I actually got sober and I'd be like, okay, I'm starting tomorrow. And I'd be like, I'm going to drink, you know, like all as much as I can today. And then I'm going to start tomorrow. This was before I like fully accepted my powerlessness and stuff like that. Right. And so yesterday I was like, I'm just going to eat what I want to eat and all this kind of stuff. And so we went to brunch yesterday had the California Dreamer, had a bagel, <laughs> had coffee. I ate like all of it. I ate like the entire omelet. I ate the Cal California Dreamer omelet. I ate the whole omelet. I ate the whole bagel, everything like that. Came home, um, talked to Mel before the live stream, tried to do the live stream. Talk that didn't work. Talked to Mel after the live stream. After that, um, I watched like two episodes of Vanderpump Rules because we're getting out of the wire. <laughs> we're getting out of the wire. Vanderpump Rules. 
starts tomorrow night, and I'm halfway through the ninth season right now, which is so boring, but I will save that for my reality TV channel. It's just so boring that, I, I don't know, it just, it kind of ended, like, on the eighth season for me. Now, Nikki and Tanya told me that, like, the tenth season is really, really good, so I'm excited about watching the next season, but this season I am so bored with. Um... So I find myself like having my AirPods on and my iPod right or my iPad right here, and then like I'm cleaning the kitchen and putting stuff away. Like I cleaned a lot yesterday. Like I got rid of a lot of stuff. And one of the things that I got rid of late last night was I literally like bagged up some of it I've had in the pantry since like I, I didn't even realize it was like back in the pantry since like Halloween, like Halloween cookies and stuff. So I'm a grazer. I'm a food grazer, and so late at night, when I'm sitting here and I'm watching TV, I go and stand in front of the pantry, and I'm like, what can I eat that sounds good, or, you know, whatever. Like, our refrigerator and our freezer, I mostly have, like, pretty healthy stuff in there other than, like, Diet Dr. Pepper and whatever, you know? Um, so the, the refrigerator and the freezer is not bad, but the pantry is, like, what kills me, and it's always sweets, because I love sweets. And so I was stand, you know, so last night I literally got rid of everything. Most of it was like old anyway. It was like, you know, but there was some candy and stuff in there that I was just like, I'm just getting rid of this stuff. So I bagged it all up last night, threw it out and got rid of it. I mean, none of it was like brand new that I, you know, could have given to anybody. It was all like, you know, open bags of potato chips and stuff like that. So anyway, bagged all that up and got rid of that last night. I was actually today going to do a review of these. <laughs> I was going to do a review. So if you go to Costco and, and you're not on a healthcare journey, let me just tell a healthcare journey, a weight loss journey. There are these um, donuts. I showed them on my Peter Dustoff channel. Now I can't remember what they're called. Um, but anyway, there was these donut, like donut holes that I got from Costco. And last night I had like 10 of them left. And that was like the only thing that I really like splurged on was um, the donut holes last night. I actually thought like, so last night I thought, well, maybe I'll order like Cheesecake Factory or something, you know, like one last time. Not like I can't order it, you know, on a cheat day or whatever, but I really wasn't that hungry. Ate some dips, got rid of, like the dips were almost done anyway. So that was fun. The only dip I have left is the jalapeno um, cranberry dip. And I mean, I'm not gonna eat, probably eat that. So, um, I'm not going to probably eat that, but I'm not, I mean, it's like half a tub. If Alex wants some of it, he can have that. So it's not like I'm going to throw that one out. But anyway, um, so yeah, so I thought like yesterday I was like, I'm just going to like eat everything in the world. Kind of like, you know, the, that addictive mind of if I'm going out, I'm going to like eat everything that I possibly can, you know, one last time and all this kind of stuff. But like, I really didn't feel that way last night. I, I was kind of surprised. Like I didn't really eat a ton yesterday. Um, I kind of went into last night. I mean, I won't say I didn't. I ate a few things that were around here. I, you know, ate some of the, you know, anyway, I, but not like I have done in the past, which is like the day before I say I'm going to start this, you know, weight loss journey that I never end up starting that I like just like binge all this food. Like that didn't really happen last night. Um, so I watched like two episodes of Vanderpump Rules and then I went upstairs and I took a nap with Alex and Boo Radley. It was really, really nice. Maybe I watched like three episodes of it. And then um, took a nap and then I got up. And when I got up, Alex was like watching TikToks and stuff. And he was like, I'm going to go to bed early. He was like, I'm really tired. I'm going to go to bed early. And I was like, okay. So um, came downstairs and I watched uh, Vanderpump Rules. I actually did not like... I stayed up late, but I didn't stay up like super, super late last night because A, I was kind of getting bored of the show, number one. Um, if you watch Vanderpump Rules, I think it's different. Like I was talking to Tanya today about it and she's like, I think it's different like when you binge watch it versus if you watch it in real time. Like there's a lot of characters they introduce that I'm just really not interested in. Um, a lot of the old characters in this season are all gone for various reasons. Uh, most of it, like, problematic things, you know? But, so, the, like, the entire cast, like, has been, like, split. Like, so it's, like, really there's only, like, four people that are from the original, like, show that are still there. And nobody really works at the restaurant anymore except for, like, one new person and Raquel. But they don't ever really show the restaurant. They don't even really show Tom Tom. And so it's always just these contrived parties that they're having at each other's houses to, like, have get-togethers. And so, for me, it's a completely different show. 
I think what I enjoyed about the show at the beginning was all these people working together, having fights behind Sir, you know, on their cigarette breaks and, you know, um, you know, just like them like struggling. And then all of a sudden they're like making tons of money. They're driving really nice cars, buying really nice houses. And hey, that's fantastic for all of them, right? Like, you know, whatever. But the show feels different. And so um, I have some thoughts about maybe what they should have done with the show. But anyway, so... But I'm going to power through because I heard that season 10 is really good. So I watched that last night. And then I went to bed. And then my plan today was to, like, definitely I was going to make this video about my weight loss journey starting today. Because I really wanted to, like, hold myself accountable. I have all these notes made. I had an entire drama video outlined that I wanted to make. Um, about Jeffree Star and his, his drama. Not just him, but it, like is drama dead and things like that. And I had this whole thing outlined that I wanted to make. I was gonna do a Peterisms video today. I mean, I had all these videos that I wanted to do today. And um, then like, I was like struggling with like the computer stuff. And I just was getting like frustrated. And then I was like, then Tanya called and I ended up talking to her for a long time on the phone. And by the time I looked at it, I was like, um, okay, it's like 10 till three. <laughs> So do I just take a whole day off or whatever? And I was like, no, I'm at least going to vlog. So I was like, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to vlog. And because the Wi-Fi is so slow, I can start uploading it. So we have a marriage counseling session tonight at 6. And I'll leave here about 5.15, which means I have to start getting ready here in about an hour, about an hour and 10 minutes. I have to start getting ready about 4.30. Um, and so I can like render it and start getting ready and then as soon as I leave I can start uploading it and God knows how long it'll take me to upload because like the why I can just like see the things on the Wi-Fi right now they're like they go up and down and it's like they're not acting normal so I have no idea I, I mean it'll still upload but it's probably gonna take like twice as long as it usually does so hopefully um uh hopefully um I think there's like a like Anyway, hopefully tomorrow I'll be back to being able to uh, do videos and stuff like that and uh, wake up and it won't be a problem. I mean, in all honesty, it's not like I'm like super sad that I have to take another day off and not film a bunch of videos, but I do miss it. And I was excited about being back today. Yesterday was like the perfect break that I needed. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to, you know, come back and I'm going to film all these videos and whatever and... I had a review video that I was going to do. Oh, that was what I was saying about the donuts. So I was going to do a review video of these donuts, and I ended up eating. I was going to save, like, two of them, and it was going to be, like, this real funny, like, review video where I was like, oh, my God, like, I was going to do this review, but there's only two donuts left, which proves how much I like. But I ended up eating all the donuts last night, <laughs> the rest of them. <laughs> which reminds me, I remember my mom, I got a donut or something, like, this was, like, years ago when um like i've gained weight back but in looking like at my weight like like where i was like and where i gravitated for like years on end like the the weight that i was for years on end it's like i've still lost quite a bit of weight you know even though like i'm up um so anyway but i remember like getting a donut or something like when i was like at one of the heaviest with my mom and she, I remember she said something to me about, she read some article. She was like, now they say, you know, like if you eat a donut a day, you'll gain 20 pounds in a year. And I was like, I don't eat a donut every single day, mom. Like seriously, I was thinking about that last night. But yeah, I finished off those donuts, but I had a review video that I was gonna do with these juices that I bought from Trader Joe's. Um, the weight loss video was gonna, or weight loss journey video was gonna be on my Peter Dust stuff channel. So I had a booktube video I was gonna make. I had like, I was gonna make videos on all my channels and it just didn't, it just didn't happen the way that I wanted it to today. You know, like a couple years ago, this is something that I would have like really beat myself up about. I would have been like, oh my God, like I wanted to film all these videos and it's just not going the way that I wanted to and I'm so mad, blah, blah, whatever. I'm just like, today I was just like, just walk into acceptance, <laughs> you know? Acceptance is the answer to all of my problems today. Just walk into acceptance and just, you know, not everything's gonna turn out the way that you want it to, you know? So, so this is my one and only video that I'm making today is uh, my vlog. So, so yeah. So tomorrow I have, um, tomorrow I'm, I'm definitely gonna be making a lot of videos. And then tomorrow night I'm not going, to, we're not going to a meeting. Tanya is super busy tomorrow night. And then I'm going to a meeting with her later in the week, but the meeting that she was going to, so I'm, she asked me if I would give her 
her coin at that meeting. But now her sponsor is going to that meeting. She didn't think she was going to, so she her sponsor is going to give her the coin at, on her on her birthday, um, because the meeting that they go to together, now her sponsor is going to be out of town or something or can't go to that meeting. So Tanya's going to get it the day that she was going to ask me. So um, who is texting me? Bum 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 bum. bum. Nikki texted me. She said sorry, but I'll do. I didn't even know that the phone went off. So yeah, so, um, I'm all texting me too. Oh, I was texting her about the Wi-Fi. I said, yeah, cause she was telling me about the, she was telling me, um, Use your phone as a hotspot. And I said, yeah, but I can't upload multiple videos on my phone and on my computer doing that. I've tried before, it takes hours. And then um, I said, yeah, I think I can get the Wi-Fi working. Gonna try and get at least a vlog done. And she said, here's hoping. She says, so sweet. Hey, Mel, hey, Nikki. Um, so yeah, and then I think Caroline and I are doing Wednesday. I haven't confirmed that with her or not yet. I don't really have a lot of errands to run this week, so. That'll be a cousin fun day. Um, I've already kind of like thought about like when I go to Cafe Patashu, because Alex is gonna still wanna go on Sundays. And like one of the hardest things for me, actually this is not in my notes to talk about from my weight loss video on my Peter Dessup channel, so I'm gonna talk about it over here. One of the things that's been the hardest for me in the past is that I love to go out to eat. And so to go out to eat and make healthy choices is really difficult to me because I just love to go out to eat and eat whatever I want. You know, like that's one of the things I love the most. And so it's really, really difficult for me. I know this is going to sound like I'm weak and maybe I am, but I think it's also part of my food addiction and just, I, I don't know. It's like, it's a real struggle for me to go into a restaurant and eat healthy. Like I really struggle with that, you know? And so, um, I almost kind of have to like think it out ahead of time. I remember like, I keep on like hitting this saying, I'm sure it sounds like, I'm fart in a million farts, but that's not the case. Um, you know, like that's when I talk about like the Debbie's weight loss zone when I did like Weight Watchers years ago with my ex. And I can remember like before we would go somewhere and eat or if we were gonna get pizza or whatever, we would like look it up and it would tell you like, she was so fantastic with how she had looked up everything. I can remember like going to like Taco Bell and being like knowing how many points is. Caroline's like that today. She knows like how many points everything is. Um, but, I mean, I'm not doing Weight Watchers, so, well, I'm not right now, at least. I'm not saying that I would be opposed to it in the future. I actually did really well on Weight Watchers when I did it. I just don't want to be on that structure of a system. Like, I want to just learn how to live healthy and make healthy choices and, and be active and all that kind of stuff. But one of the things I really struggle with is going to restaurants and making healthy choices. And so, I almost kind of have to think, think it through before I go. And so with Patashu, since that's something that Caroline and I go to every week and, you know, Alex and I go to every Sunday, you know, whatever, I'm not going to stop those things. Like, those are things I enjoy doing with them. Thankfully, Patashu has many, many healthy options. Um, and sometimes, like recently when I've been waking up, like on Sunday, like yesterday I ate that because I was like, okay, this is my last meal was kind of my attitude. Um... But I wasn't even super hungry when I went to eat brunch yesterday. Like, I would have been fine skipping brunch yesterday. Um, Caroline and Alex kind of both get a little, what's the term, hangry. Like, when you're, like, hungry, angry. Like, they both, like, they have to eat something, you know, whatever. Um, I would have been completely fine, probably. I'm more of, like, an, a late eater, which is also one of the problems. Like, I eat so late at night, and then I eat, like you know, large amounts of food and um, then I'm just kind of like sedentary and I don't move and whatever, right? So, um, so yeah, drinking my coffee today. No, no syrups in my coffee today. We're gonna try that for a while. Um, so, like I've been thinking about Patashu, there's like a lot of things, like they have like a yogurt and granola that you can get. They have like wonderful salads that are super healthy. I think they have like a vegan salad there. Um, they have, and by that, I mean, there's no like bacon, chicken, like, you know, eggs, stuff like that on it, which I don't really care about the eggs, but I don't really necessarily like eggs on salad anyway. 
So I don't want to stop going out to eat with Alex and Caroline and my friends and stuff like that, but I'm just gonna have to make healthy choices. If I can do it a couple times, I think I'll be all right. Cause it's more about the successes to me. Um, and I remember that in early sobriety too. It was like every success that I would have in early sobriety would like really build me up. I also though, the thing in early sobriety was when I was told not to do things or go places, like I rarely did. Like in early sobriety, if I was told like by my sponsor, like I don't think it's a good idea that you go and like hang out at a bar, I just wouldn't go. So I didn't really like tempt fate a lot in early sobriety. Part of the reason was because I had for so long before, you know, that like I had done all of these things that like I knew I probably shouldn't be doing. I mean, I have to remember this wasn't my first time like trying to get sober, you know? And so like, you know, before people would say like, you know, you have to like change people, places and things. And I would be like, oh, I can do this and not change people, places and things. And then it would like bite me in the butt, you know? And so when I went into treatment the last time and I was like, no, I'm like really serious about this. Um, I started listening to what people were telling me. So that's a lot of what I'm trying to do right now. It's just like, listen to what has worked for other people and really adhere to that. And, um, and not by like a diet plan. I just want to make that very, very clear. Like uh, if I'm coming close to anything, it would probably be like looking at like high protein, low calories, but I'm not even really doing that. I'm just trying to make healthy choices with eating and be active, um, drink a lot of water, not a lot of sugar, things like that. And just like make overall, you know, changes. That seems to be the one thing that has worked for me the most at the healthiest times in my life when it was more of a thought pattern than this rigid thing that I was doing. And I'm, and I'm so grateful that that works for people. You know, like, you know, my sponsor, she does keto a lot. I mean, constantly, she's always talking about keto and whatever, and that that works for people and, you know, all the other different things that people have done. And I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful that that works. I'm not like, that doesn't, that, that kind of like mentality doesn't work right for me. Any of those kind of systems, like, um, or, or, you know, do this or do that or eliminate that. It just doesn't work for me. It's, I, I have to start just like thinking about like being healthier and making healthier choices. It's really what that's about for me. Cause I have to, it has to be like a lifestyle thing for me. So at least that's what I think. So we'll see going into this. Um, but yeah, I was like looking, I was thinking of some of the options of like Cafe Patashu and whatever. We don't really go to uh, Cheesecake Factory as much as we used to. I mean, I think we know I, I order it like that is the other thing is the ordering of the food um, is going to be like one of my main things that's going to stop. Like it's too easy to order pizza or piata, which I haven't ordered in a while or cheesecake factory, which has been the one lately. Excuse me. It's so easy to do that like every single night and then have it all sit in front of you, you know? So I want to have healthy meals here. Not, I mean, I have the Trader Joe's ones, this is me like when I say these things, I just like know what people are gonna say. They're gonna be like, well, those are not healthy meals because those are processed meals. They're healthier for me than Cheesecake Factory. Let's just be for real, right? Like a vegan pre-prepared pre meal that you put in the microwave is 100 times healthier than uh, macaroni and cheese balls from Cheesecake Factory. It just is, okay? Um, I'm not gonna turn into overnight being like that person sitting on a couch, you know, like ordering Cheesecake Factory every night to being the person that's, you know, eating greens every single day. Like that's not gonna happen overnight. It's just not, you know, over a period of time maybe, but um, I need to live a little bit in reality. So that's today. And um, I'm not really hungry, <laughs> which is a good thing so far. I think depending on how cold it is after um, we get back and also what Alex wants to do after we get back from our couples counseling session, I may try to take a walk for half an hour and just get like started like right away, you know, today with like doing something active and put in my audio book, whatever. I've been like, one of the reasons why I've been struggling with the audio book is because I've been like really enjoying listening to music more too. So, um, so yeah, that's been, that's been tricky. I am excited about, and I keep on looking this up. I wonder if she's put it out yet. Hold on a second, let's see. Where am I at on time? Is it gonna stop anytime soon? So if you don't watch my booktube channel, I announce every month the book for Peter's Book Club and the book for A True Crime Book Club. Last month, well, going into January, I was so excited to find out what Reese's, Reese Witherspoon, so she has a book club called Reese's Book Club, if you didn't know that. And it's huge. And, um, 
And I bought like several things. Like every day I get emails about like self care and all this kind of stuff. I bought like several of things that they recommend on there and I've like literally loved every single thing that they've recommended. Some of the things are on Amazon. Some things are real expensive. Some of the things are not so expensive. But they recommend a lot of like kind of like cozy kind of things like blank. The camera stopped. They recommend a lot of like cozy things like you know, blankets, coffee cups, I was trying to think through my head, like reading lights, things like that. A lot of really cute, like cozy stuff, right? And so like I've ordered some of the things and I've never been disappointed by anything that they've recommended, you know? I think it's very much like a selling point, like linking it and whatever, but like I really enjoy the things that they recommend too. They apparently, on Amazon, they have like a whole like Reese's, cause it always pulls me to like Reese's book club on Amazon. So you can like, there's all this, I haven't looked through the whole like Amazon list over there on for Reese's Book Club. But apparently there's a bunch of things over there that you can like order and whatever. So, so yeah. Um, but I said in my book club this month that whatever Reese Witherspoon picks for Reese's Book Club for February will be our February book for Peter's Book Club that we're gonna like ride her coattails and ride her coattails, piggyback off of her, you know, and, and read the book that she's gonna read because I had such a fun time this month reading First Sly Wins um, from her. I really loved that book, it was great. I don't know when she usually puts out the, the book announcement. Do you guys know when she puts the book announcement out? I guess I should just look up. Hold on a second. Reese's. Reese's Book Club. Here it is. Is the February book out yet? No. First Lie Wins or January Pick. I really wanted to buy this, um, what's it say? Let's, how do you, oh. To join the book club, you just follow her on Instagram, which I'm already doing. Here are the questions. Do you belong to a book club? I said yes. 39% said yes. Would you like to meet up in person at a restaurant? Yeah, sounds like a fun book club gathering. No thanks. I'm going to say no thanks. <laughs> 20%. Are you in search of fun and real life experiences? Well, yes, please. <laughs> Why are they asking all these questions? What's your ideal time of day to attend a book club? Evening. Ooh, 70% said evening. Who's in your book club? Friends, family, coworkers, classmates. Friends. Ooh, 85% said friends. Why'd you ask those questions though? When did she announce this book? Let's see. January 2nd. So we're gonna have to wait till February 2nd to find out what the book club is for Peter's book club. Oh my Lord. I still have not finished Stalking Around the Christmas Tree yet by Jacqueline Frost. And I just started a new graphic novel and I looked and like its ratings are so high. It's called The Prince and the Dressmaker. And it's really, really good. It's, it's, it's so much better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm like a third of the way through it already. I can't believe it. Um, I'm reading like four graphic novels at the same time because my plan was to like finish them all this week and then that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm already behind books on Goodreads for the year. I started off so strong, but I'll get caught back up again. If I start taking walks, that would be a really good way for me to listen to my audiobooks every day. But like I said, I'm like le loving listening to music lately. And I've been like downloading a lot of music and stuff. Like when I take Boo Radley out, I still listen to that Holdovers uh, soundtrack. And I listen to The Temptation, Silent Night. I know Christmas is over. It doesn't really feel like a Christmas song to me for some reason. I just love that version of it so much. I don't know what Alex is going to want to do tonight. He'll probably be so like tired from like the weekend and going back to work. I probably just want to relax. I think I've got like, what am I like halfway through season nine? I think I've got like 29 episodes of Vanderpump Rules or something left, <laughs> something like that. Cause I've got all season 10 and then half of season nine to finish. Is it going to happen? Am I going to get these done in time? I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna happen.
Everybody, everybody's asking me, they're like, are you gonna like watch the premiere tomorrow night or are you going to like try to like finish the season first? And at first I was like, no, I'm, I was like, I am going to be caught up with this se the series by the time it starts. But I just don't think that that's possible now. So I'll probably say Vanderpump Rules for like Thursday and like, you know, finish the series tomorrow. I, I'll probably be able to finish it by tomorrow night so we can watch it on Wednesday or whatever. Um, we're not very good, Alex. I mean, he'll want to watch it too, obviously. We're not very good about watching shows the night they come out because we don't like to watch like ads, commercials, you know? And so when we like usually, like if it's on at nine, we'll wait till 10 to watch it. Well, sometimes he wants to go to bed early. So like with Salt Lake City, that's why we didn't watch it, the, the final part of the reunion when it came out. Um, so like the Housewives, I go to Wednesday night with like Miami and Beverly Hills. We usually wait till the next day or the weekend to watch it, um, which is not great when you have a reality TV channel because it would be smart to come right out and talk about it, you know? But those are shows that we like to watch together and it means more to me to watch it together with him then. And now we're watching Traders. But Thursday, will this be our first Traders that we're watching together? This week or was it last week? Oh no, last week was the first traders that we watched together. But we did watch it when it came out. But that came out at nine o'clock and it's just released with like no commercials or anything like that. So I don't know. We'll see. Um when we watch Vanderpump Rules. I was like so insistent that I was like, I'm going to have it all done by like Tuesday night. Like I was talking to Tanya and she's like She's, she said, um, just so people, like, the questions that you guys all have in your head, you know that my friends ask me the same thing. She's like, are you, like, watching it for fun? Or are you just, like, intent on finishing it at time? I was like, no, like, I'm watching it for fun. Like, I'm binge watching it. Like I'm, But, you know, like, at the same time, like, I want to be caught up like everybody else by the time it comes out. But I just don't think that's going to be possible. And she just started laughing. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I just think I'll just, like, watch it Wednesday or Thursday or something like that because I want to be completely caught. I mean, I'm not going to watch the first episode not knowing what's going into it. It's different, like, when, like, this season I watched Below Deck, which was season eight, and I'm, like, halfway through season five, and then I have six and seven to watch, but below, or below Deck Mediterranean. But, like, that's completely different because each season, even though it has castmates from before, you know, like, our, our you know, you can kind of like figure out, or, 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 you can kind of figure out what's like going on and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So that's tonight. Take a walk. Take a warm hot shower. Put on some warm jammies. <laughs> All that goodness. Well, I'm glad I at least got a vlog done today because I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to film any videos now. I mean, I don't know if this vlog will ever get up. If it doesn't, if I come back. This is my fear, is that, you know, so I'll leave here about 5.15. And then we'll get back here about 7.30. If I come back here and it's still at like 3% of uploading or something because our Wi-Fi is so slow, then what I will do is I'll upload it on my phone. But it'll still take a long time to upload it on my phone. So, um... Oh, and you know the other thing is, I didn't realize that. Sometimes when the Wi-Fi is choppy, I can't like airdrop videos. Oh shoot, I didn't think about that. Well, I'll figure it out. I'll get it up at some point tonight. Lord knows how long it'll take me, but I'll get it up sometime tonight. <laughs> but I was like, I can't take another day off. I can't, oh I could, but I was like, I can't miss another day. I wanna talk to everybody. I know, I was so excited. I had like all of my videos planned out for today and stuff like that. Oh well. It's a cloudy, dreary day anyway. Boo Ravley knows that because he's upstairs taking a little nap, little guy. I had a good weekend. It's a nice weekend. It was a relaxing weekend. At night now, when I watch my iPad, I like light all these candles and um Yesterday when I was doing the live stream, I lit one of those candles that I reviewed that I said smells like cologne. It doesn't really smell like... I bought all these candles that are like bonfire flavored. And um, I got new pillows too. My new pillows came, but I haven't opened them yet because I want to do a review video of them. <laughs> that was... I think that was the video that I was going to do today. I think I have them on my list. I think I have that and the juices. And so I was going to do the pillows because the pillows came yesterday. And so I want to start using them, but I don't want to open them before I start using them. This is like a, a thing I think about on a regular basis for my review channel, just so you know. Like I'll order things, but then like I won't open them. 
because I want to show them like for the first time on camera if that makes sense so I order a lot of things that like we don't even use for like a week because I want to open them on camera for example like I've had this stuff from the P.O. box that's been sitting on my kitchen counter this box from Diana and there's like three other boxes now and now I'm like well it's Monday I might as well just wait till Wednesday or Thursday to do the P.O. box unboxing because we'll go back Caroline will take me back there on Wednesday so well I'll probably wait till like Thursday or Friday to do that video um, and then I ordered a bunch of sobriety t-shirts. I bought a bunch of t-shirts that have sobriety sayings on them. So I think I'm going to do that haul over my Peter Dustoff channel sometime this week too. But anyway, so the pillows came. I haven't opened those yet. What was I going to say about that? I was going to say something about, I don't remember now my thought pattern. But yeah, it was a nice week. Oh, the candles. So I ordered all these candles. I did like a, a review or a Peter Dusta video of them. I bought all these candles that are supposed to smell like bonfires and fireside and stuff. Like half of them did and the other half smelled like cologne. So the one that one of them that smelled like cologne, I lit yesterday because it was like the first one that I pulled. Um, and I was like, okay, I don't love the smell of this one, but it's whatever. I'll just I'll light it. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It smells nothing like a bonfire or fireside or whatever. But the other ones that I got, I have one over there, but I also brought down from the bedroom. I had this pine one in the bathroom, but I usually use a sleepy one. I don't use the pine one in there. So I brought the pine one down here from Bath and Body Works. <clears throat> and then I have a pine one on the candle warmer in the kitchen. And then um, I also have a fireside or bonfire little candle over there. <clears throat> and then in the kitchen, I have this tall one that I got. It's fantastic that I got on Amazon. It is like burned forever. And I mean, I literally burn it for like six to eight hours a night. And it's like still only halfway done. And it's like every time I walk in the kitchen, it smells like a fireplace. It's so fantastic. And it was like the cheapest one that I got on Amazon. Um, so I like burn the candles at night. So it's like real cozy in here and everything like that. <clears throat> I wonder if we're supposed to get any snow this week. Are we supposed to get any snow? For the coziness of winter. I think it's actually supposed to be warmer this week. Let's look up and see. This is January coast to coast above average temperatures is what it says right now. Tomorrow, 37 and rain. Oh wait, rain. Freezing on some surfaces in the morning and showers of rain and wet snow in the afternoon. 40, 30. Oh my God, Thursday is supposed to be 51. 48, 51, 47, 45, 45, 45, 48, 51, 55, 55. This is unreal. This is like the 9th and 10th of February. Yeah, this is weird weather and rain. This is weird. Then 51, 55, 54, 48, 45. This is weird weather for January, February in Indiana. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a bunch of snow. I think the snow is done for the year. I wish we get at least like one good snow, you know. I mean, we have the little the snow, the, the inch and a half, two inches of snow that lasted, uh, you know, a couple days on the ground because it was so cold. But I wish we get like one good snow of like a foot of snow. But it feels like we don't really ever get that anymore here, you know. Maybe like once a year, but I wish we just get one this year, you know. Where it's like real cozy outside and <clears throat> Boo Rally can run around in it a little bit and stuff like that. Well, listen, you guys, I'm going to get off here now. Uh, where am I out on time? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to get off here now so that I can um, start getting ready here. I'm going to render this video, fingers crossed, that the Wi-Fi at least works a little bit to get this video up today. <laughs> Please pray for my Wi-Fi so tomorrow I can make as many videos as I want. Um, but I'm going to get off here now and start rendering this so that I can upload it, and hopefully it'll get up in time by the time I get back. And, um, and then I'm going to start getting ready, so... I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Monday and a fantastic, be fantastic beginning to your week. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And remember these three very important things. One, you can start your day over whenever you want. Or your week if you need to. If you need to start your week over, just start it and you can start it over again. Start your week over if you need to. Two, practice random acts of kindness, but shh. Don't tell anyone. And three, just do it because it's a nice thing to do. And three, most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody. Like I always say... You might be putting a smile on their face. You might be changing their day for the better. I think I heard Boo Rowley just come downstairs. I think I just heard his little pause. He's in the kitchen. He's drinking water in the kitchen. Boo Rowley! You drinking some water, buddy? You might be putting a smile on their face. 
you might be changing their day for the better, you might be making them happier, and you might be the only person they hear from today. You don't know. Also, I just really think that through when I say that too, you know, because I don't get that many phone calls or texts in a day, you know, like <laughs> Mel and Nikki might be it for today. Well, I talked to Tanya, Mel and Nikki. So today's a good day for me today. I'm hearing from several people today. But there's whole days where I don't like receive a text or a phone call from anybody, you know? And, uh, and then those are days where I need to get out of self and reach out to other people. And also be kinder to one another, love one another a little bit more, because that's what I was taught in recovery, you know, just to explain that, is that when you're in self, to get out of self is to, you know, help other people, so. And that always works for me when I do it. I don't always remember that. I'm not always great about remembering that, but it does work when I do it. Um, also, be kinder to one another, love one another a little bit more, and most importantly, be kinder and love yourselves a little bit more, because if you're kinder to yourself, you'll be kinder to others, and if you love other, if you love yourself, you love others. If you're kinder to yourself, you'll be kinder to others more, and if you love yourself more, you'll love others more as well. And I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya!